Welcome back guys. Before we start on the final push to weather the final great storm, I just thought I'd, uh, I just thought I'd mention this. We're playing this scenario, A New Home, on the medium settings, which is, which is the standard settings, right? But there is a hard mode, okay? Now, medium, medium settings, this is uh, the basic difficulty with some, with some challenges and some room for error, right? Hard mode, the game will be more challenging with very little room for error. People's needs, people get sick. Uh, they're more likely to get sick. They become hungry faster, so they eat more. Um, resources will be gathered slower. The technologies research slower. Frostland has fewer resources. The weather, uh, temperature drops faster. Cold, dry, cold, cold days last longer. And people are more sensitive to, uh, to bad events and good events will have less of an effect. People will be pessimistic. Oh my God, it sounds like a nightmare. If you want me, after, after we've completed this playthrough, if you want me to play on hard mode, right, bash that like button right now, okay? And if I get a thousand likes on this video, then I'll do a hard mode. How about that? Is that a deal? All right, so, um, so there you go. We'll leave it there. Let's get on with the game. Okay, what's this? A tip from a believer. Oh, we'll get some more supplies. Well done. Well done, that woman. All right. Got 48 people ready to work. So we can just about get all these hospitals working. Scouts have reached the jagged rocks. Uh, the surface looks like it's been fractured by the shock of an underground explosion. It appears there may have been an underground base here. Danger in the deep. Ruins of the underground base reek of sulphur. It must have been a warm and sheltered place, but now exploring its depths is dangerous. Exploring the ruins, we found a briefcase signed by Nansen. It seems to contain some interesting blueprints. Nansen's Stormwatch. Oh, we, we will acquire some useful technology. Okay, well, we'll have that then. So, that's these guys. Oof. How, eight hours. We've got four days left on the storm, but the thing is the storm is getting to here. Go on, we'll risk it. At the centre of this camp stands a sturdy arctic hut, big enough to house about a, a dozen people. But it's covered in snow and we can't see any signs of activity. Go for it. Man, this is all getting like pretty damn close. I think that's the last place we're going to be able to go to. So uh, let's, uh, let's rattle this along. We've built a new automaton. About freaking time. Now is that... Let me see. That automaton... Is that the second one? Uh, where's the factory? Is that the second one? I can tell if I look here. No. So there should be one more being built. Yeah, which we've almost finished. And that is gonna be it for the factory. So let's rattle this along till that gets built. And then we do not need the factory anymore. We're not gonna build any more automatons and you can't do anything else in the factory. So, and that gives us, gives us a steam core back, which I can't imagine what the hell I would use it on, but let's do it. So let's knock that down. Okay, we're up to, let's say we've got 55 unemployed people, so we can now definitely get everybody into the hospitals. Like, like, keep people employed. Um, I just want to look at the, the hunter's huts. So I've got, what the hell is that? That's a steam hub. That's, that's really in the wrong place, that steam hub. We don't want that there. We should put it over here. So, yeah, let's knock that down. Dismantle that, and we'll put a steam hub in the middle of these. Now, you're probably thinking, why are you heating these buildings up? They don't need to be heated. But, um, we'll see. We'll see about that, because I've got a sneaking suspicion that I am going to need to heat those buildings in a, in a while. So, let's put that in there. Boom. Okay. Go. And we're just about to do the steam hub efficiency. Is there anything else? We're, right, so generator bypass safety is next. Uh, we need more storage for the coal. My God, look how much storage we've got already. Let's put some more in, though. So, resources. Uh, can I? Oh, I put another row in around the back. Six. Running out of places to put this stuff. Uh, let's do. Oh, I can I can put them like round the back of here. Um, 
Let's start here and start putting some more in. And get that turn off. Oh, uh, I'm, oh, I'm out of wood. I'm out of wood. Okay, keep going. Uh, get me a little bit of wood so that I actually put some roads in. So we'll put we'll put a road going up here, and then we'll put a road going around there. We'll extend that out to there, and then we want a road going up there, a road going around there, and a little road going up there. Okay, go. Oh, scouts have reached Nansen's Stormwatch. The sturdy building could withstand a severe Arctic winter. It's crammed with sophisticated scientific equipment, yet the camp seems to be abandoned. Nansen's warning. We found a note left by Nansen and his co-workers. The expected cold is hard to predict. It will be way below any temperatures ever recorded on Earth. Gale Force 10, as the jet stream seems to abate on descent. Afterwards, the climate shall start in slowly improving. We are moving towards this apop apocalyptic storm to confirm our predictions. Farewell and may God protect you. We acquire some useful technology. Take the technology. Okay, so these guys, that's it. Um, head back to the... There's nothing else to explore out there, is there? No. Head back to the city. Just ahead of the storm. Um... Oh, you need to explore Camp Meteor. The camp is built around a large hole in the ice. It might be the impact crater of a meteorite. There's a block and tackle attached to the top of the steel framework built over a hole. Explore. We searched the remains of the camp. This must have been some scientific operation dedicated to the, uh, to the research of whatever punched this hole in the ice. Now the place is deserted and there's nothing of value to be found here. But we found two more places. Oh, me okay. In that case, you lot... Head over to the shattered, the scattered convoy. You head over to the large crater. Six hours. Man, I'm cutting this fine. And then you guys, the fence that surrounds the Arctic hut has been dis has been destroyed, shattered as a pack of wild animals went through it. An ill-fated project. Scientists who built this station designed it to withstand the Arctic climate, but they clearly underestimated the fierce Arctic fauna. fauna. The doors and windows have been bashed in by heavy blows, letting inside the cold and snow. Scientific and life support equipment frozen, burst, dooming the base and its inhabitants. Oh, we'll get some useful technology. Is that it? That's it, guys. There's nothing more to explore out here. Um, but what if... What if there's more to explore here? You know what? Head over towards the large crater. Just in just in case. Oh, we've got four days left till the storm hits, but it's going to be hitting our scouts earlier than that. I've just noticed our food storage is full. I need to do something about that. Um, where? You know what? I can probably switch a raw food. Let's go to where's the where's the where's the storage thing? Oh, there it is. Let's go to here. Uh, raw food. Let's change... Was it that one? No, that's coal. That one? No, that's coal. Which is... The, oh, there we go. It'd be nice if it actually like, zoomed into it or something. Uh, let's change that to food rations. There we go. Well, like, you know what? I, I think I'm still going to need an extra one of those. Well, I'll do that when it gets built. Let's, let's, let's crack on a bit. We're doing the technology. I can do another book of laws, can't I? Yeah. Um, is there anything left in adaptation? We've done the funerals. Extra rations for the ill. Ooh. Extra rations for the ill. Use extra rations in medical facilities to speed up recovery. Oh, let's do that. Because we've got loads and loads of food. So that's a really good thing to do. Um, boom, boom. These guys... These guys have got back now. So if I go over to this outpost we can disband them and right that's our first team disbanded okay uh, next go almost done the generator safety bypass boom done so what next what next on the research is it like is there anything left exploration and industry that's all done resources um, oh coal thumper injections Let's do that. That increases the um, 
output of the call center. Um, we're kind of just about okay on the wood. All right, keep going, keep going. Let's blast through this. Okay, scouts have reached the large crater. Let's see. God, the storm's so close. Oh, be careful, boys. Explore. It's hard to judge the crater's size from a distance. Its vastness only becomes apparent up close. The camp is empty. The crater is fresh, with broken ice around the rim. We searched the camp for clues to the scientist's fate and found none. Everything, everything's in order, but not a perfect order. It looks like they went out to do something and didn't return. Maybe they tried to descend into the crater and got lost in the maze of broken ice, or got caught by a blizzard, or both. Oh, we acquire some useful technology. I don't know what this, all this technology is. Maybe we've already researched it or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, that's the scatter comp. So, right. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Head back to base then. Right, 17 hours to arrive. You, there's no point you going out there, so you head back. Oh, well, um, unless the scattered convoy reveals more stuff to explore. Okay, you know what? Head head towards the shattered convoy, and you head towards the shattered convoy. Ooh, I might cut in this a bit close. I think I probably am, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I, love, I love getting it close. Uh, what we got going on here? Doom-mongering drunks. Sir, a dozen or so people got drunk and took to the streets. They were chasing after women. Um, no. Uh, yelling that we should have some fun before the storm kills us all. Stop it. Resist the temptation. What should we do with them? Buy them a drink. <laughs> no, shush. No, I didn't say that. Banish them. Twelve people will leave the city forever. Send them home. They'll be sent to sober up, but their doom-mongering will affect hope and discontent. They were chasing William, women, yelling that they should uh, have some fun before the storm killed. See, if they'd actually like done anything, then I would have just banished them. But I think I think we can deal. Send them home. God, I'm being way too nice. What's that going to do to my hope? Yeah, we can we can cater for that. We can deal with that. Well, let's uh, let's throw in an evening prayers. Boom! There we go. Okay. Let's keep going. So, coal. I need more storage. Food is almost full. Let's do... Um, oh, that's... Oh, it's these ones on the outside. Let's do another food rations. And let's do some more... Let's do some more coal. Coal, at this point, is probably more important than the food rations. Um, let's do one more food rations, and you are going to be coal. We've got these round here as well. So I guess you can be a food and you can be some more coal. And then we'll leave a couple of spares. Should I get some more being built? Probably should. So let's get, where are we? Resources. Resources, resource depots. One, two, three. Get another four being built. Pop in a road for them. Join it up at the ends. That'll do. Okay. Keep going, I think. Keep going. Uh, two hours till they get there. Oh, they've got generator safety bypass. Oh, okay. I, whatever that is. Oh, hang on. Gener uh, advanced coal mine. Oh, so yeah, it's extra resources. It's, it's extra text researched, but you don't get them till they get back. Ah, okay. How will we manage against that monstrosity? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we'll manage. Scouts have reached the scattered convoy. Go. So, export. The, the, the convoy's vehicles have been damaged by heavy blows. The snow is trodden and stained with what seems like buckets of blood. Good lord. Hungry polar bears. Uh oh. Inside damaged crawlers, we found several dead bodies. Few of them are. Uh, few of them are torn apart like they were partially eaten by some beasts. Polar bears, we think. We never know for sure what happened here, and there's nothing useful for us to sal salvage from this gruesome place. Okay, thanks very much. There's nothing. And it doesn't reveal anything. Right, so now it's just a race to beat the storm and get back to our city. Right, you go. You get back to the city. And you get back to the city. Um, now, the coal mine. I think it's time to shut the coal mine down. Dismantle the outpost. And you lot, race back to the city as fast as you can. 
All right, go. Whew. Hectic or what? Cold thumper injectors researched. What are we gonna do now? Coal mining opti optimization. Um, probably as good as anything. There really isn't anything else that I need to do at all. Yeah, that's all done, that's all done. Don't need that, don't need that. Uh, resources. Yeah, let's do that. Start. And go. Let's see. The temperature is going to drop one level. Then the top temperature is going to drop another level. That'll be at minus 80. That's the coldest we've faced so far. Car mining optimization researched. Uh, medical automatons. Medical automaton integration. Oh, I have done that. This uh, That makes them cheaper. Don't care about that. Let's do that one. Automatons working at medical facilities will be 20% more efficient at the start. Now, I've got one steam core remaining, which means I knocked the factory down, didn't I? Ha! <laughs> I could have built one more automaton. Oh, well. Right, since I finished researching everything, or I think I have, oh, I've got this one. So we'll get this, we'll get this researched, and then I'm going to take the auto automatons out of there and put them into um, medical facilities. Is that a good idea? I think it's a good idea. I, I wouldn't swear to it, though. Um, let's pause just for a second. Is there anything we can do with the temple? Mm, that's for discontent. We haven't got any discontent at all. Temple has influenced people. Right, we've finished that research. So now, let's get these guys out of here. There's no more research, no more research to be done. I tell you one thing that we haven't actually looked at, and I probably should have. Get you out of there, and get you out of there, and then put them into. Oh, oh, they can't, that's right, they can't work on House of Healing. Oh, man, but you know what we can get them to do? We can get them to work on these. Instead of having workers work there, we can have these guys work in there. And four. So we've only got two which are occupied by workers. So that's kind of good. And go. Yeah, this. Oh, the scouts have returned safely, and they've returned with generator safety bypass and advanced coal mine, which we don't need. Um, so, if I go to the beacon, they can be disbanded. So that means we've now got two of five done. And you are, you've arrived. Oh no, that's, that's them. I just disbanded them, didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah, I did. So why are they waiting? Oh, unless it's, uh, is it the guys from the other outpost? Yeah, disband them. That's three or five now. We're full of wood, we're, you know what? We've got so much blooming steel and we, that we don't, we just don't need now. So, where's, why can't I click on that factory? Seriously, oh, there we go, they've got it. Uh, let's close that down, off. And let's put you working in that gathering post. Um, so we've got one steel mine still running. And you know what? I'm going to take one off there as well. Off, and let's put you in there. Boom. Okay. So how are things looking now? So this is all automatons in here. If I'd built infirmaries, then... I don't know. I, I, infirmaries... I need steam cores for that though, and I'm, I've only got like one, so here's what it is. Right, keep going, keep going. Coal, I need some more coal storage. Let's get uh, coal and coal and more coal and more coal. Go. We've got, I've got about 15 days worth. That's quite a lot of coal. We've got loads of food rations, and yeah, yeah, okay, keep going, keep going go. I'm sure I'm missing something, but we've got, actually, we've got loads and loads of people, so let's get, um, let's get some more people manning these. Let's, let's bang engineers into all of these houses of healing. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay. Um, yeah, keep going, keep going. I've got to say, I am kind of cautiously optimistic at this point. Oh, these two guys have returned, so now we can go to the beacon and disband, disband, and that's it. Final days, wait for the storm to hit. 
That's all we've got to do now. Preparation's finished. The people you saved barely managed to reach the city in time. At least we have a critical supply of food ready. There's not much time left. We should use it to prepare whatever else we can. After the storm hits, there'll be nothing we can do but wait it out. So, apparently I've housed everybody, which is awesome. So that's kind of good news. Uh, I've got a little bit more space. Okay, I think we just... I, th I think at this point we just crank it up. Oh, what's going on here? Survivors reach the city. Sir, a group of survivors has reached our city. They're tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they're ready to handle end of hand. Okay, fine. Good. They should immediately be housed, because we've already got some spare housing. Oh, our hunters just came back. What's going on here? Tip, another tip from a believer. Some more supplies. Cool. We're full on wood. I suppose I could store a bit more wood. I mean, we just don't need it now, though. We're pretty full on steel. We've got loads and loads and loads of coal. I could, I mean, I, I could throw in more storage if I wanted to. Survivors reach the city. Um, yeah, it's the same message. I see. So that's more survivors. We're up to 415 people now. Go. Ooh, where's the storm? Let's, let's go and have a look at the storm. Oh my god. It's almost upon us. We've got two days left. Right, let's blast through it. Let's blast through it now. Because I think now it's a case of it is what it is. There's not really any, any more that we can do. Um, I'm glad i got these automatons working on here. Where's the... Oh, let's see. Fight over supplies. Sir, an argument erupted between some workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows. And, and though nobody was seriously injured, tensions are running high. Yeah, keep me updated. Or oh, I think things are going to start to go downhill in all kinds of ways now. Oh, we're just about to have a temperature drop. Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. So that's going to bring it down to 70. Now, we should still be okay at that level. Uh, no, we need to bump up to steam level 3. Everything else is okay, though. Um, I could start to heat the hospitals. So let's put the heaters on in the hospitals. Let's keep everybody as healthy as we possibly can. And we've got the coal. We can afford it. So, like, what the hell? Boom, 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 and boom. Okay. Keep going. Yep, everything's still working. Whew, man. But it's only minus 70. <laughs> it's going to get a lot colder than that. There it's going to drop to minus 80. One day, 11 hours left. Hope is dropping a little bit. Can we do something at the temple, maybe? Uh, yes, we can. Let's do a sermon. Get us up a little bit. Let's do a ceremonial service. That gets us to almost full. That's fine. Coal is almost full. Let's allocate the last one. We're uh, we're full on wood. We're full on steel. We're full on raw food. We're full on. We're just full. All of our storage is full. But I, am I going to build any more? I don't think I'm going to build any more. I think we'll. I think we'll live with what we've got now. Wrap up well. Yeah, I'd wrap up well. Look, it's dropping to minus eighty now. Let's have a look. Good lord. I'm going to stay with livable condition. Am I going to stay? No, what the hell? What the hell? Let's bump it up to steam level four. But that's as high as we can go. Okay, so we're, we're back to warm again. Um, what the hell's that building? Oh, it's the cookhouse. That's manned by an automaton, so it doesn't matter whether it's warm or not. And... Oh, let's let's get out of there. Let's have a look at the storm again, shall we? Oh, oh my God! Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. It's right on top of us. Twelve hours left, guys, till the storm hits. Is there anything more to do? What's going on here? Storage is near capacity. Yeah, that's fine because we're, we're maxed out on coal. So 
I mean, we might as well have this at like absolute max, uh, which we are range four, steam level four. Yeah, we can't do anything more with the temperature. So, it is like if it gets any colder. Oh my god. We're down to seven hours till the storm hits. Is anybody else nervous? Five hours. Four. Three. Two. Oh my god. It's five o'clock in the morning. Boom. Storm's just hit. The wind. I can't hear my own thought. Oh my god, look. The storm hits the city. A howling gale bursts upon the city, and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards the rattling windows. Trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hothouses will freeze. We'll have to make do with the food that we've stockpiled. The city must survive. Right, let's take a look. Survive the storm. We've prepared well for the coming storm. Now all that's left is to survive until it passes. Right, we're, we're minus 90 now, and it's only livable on max. Oh, good lord. Oh, and now we've got these storm indicators. Is that it just getting colder and colder? It, there's no tooltip. Uh, let's check. Are these our warm... Oh, these are chilly. These hunter's hangers. So, actually... We don't want people in there. That's turned on, so that's that's as warm as they can get. Uh, no, we better empty those out. Uh, go home, people. Like hang out in the warmest place you can find. So let's um, let's just let's just demolish these. And you, and you. I thought they might be some warm places for people to spend the days, but nope. And we can get rid of that steam up as well. Go. Oh, the brutality of this game. Go. God, it's minus 90, and they're going up. What, you've sent us out to do, do demolition work? Are you mad? Yeah, kind of. Um, I, you know what, I just want to look at the, this. We're still producing, even maxed out, we're still producing like twice as much coal as we need. Well, that's pretty damn impressive. So I don't think we're going to run out of coal. I've got to say, this kind of does bode well for playing on hard mode. Because we, we've, we've got all the research done in advance. And I know that I can do better than I did in this run. Certainly coal's not a problem. Danger of coal. Oh, here we go. Sir, one of our engineers wants to talk to you. He's concerned about the danger that the coal poses to our mines. We're doing everything we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping into the shaft is so cold now that the hydraulic roof supports are starting to freeze. When they do, the tunnels will start collapsing. Okay, so I guess we're going to lose production from the mines. Go. Survive the storm. Doesn't say how long we've got to survive for. I think we're about to get colder. Okay. Seven o'clock in the morning and it's now minus a hundred. Okay, it is now chilly in our houses. Even with everything maxed out. Okay. So we're going to start having people getting sick. But we've got room for like a hundred sick people. The mines are freezing. Sir, it's so cold that the hydraulic roof supports in our coal mines are, are failing. If the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We should either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports. But the task is extremely dangerous. You know what? We've got so much coal stockpiled. Ten volunteers will be sent to each mine. Some of them may die. I'd like to avoid deaths if possible. The output of all coal mines will fall by 80%. But you know what? I think we're still going to be fine. Abandon the lower levels. Let's have a look at that consumption now. Yeah, we're still producing more than we need. Um, this coal thumper is the lifesaver, you know. Because this is producing actually quite a lot of coal. Alright, go. Keep going blast on. A tip from a believer. 
Captain, a woman has told us that she over... Oh, yes, just more supplies. Uh, hope just fell a hell of a lot. Let's get some hope going. Uh, sermon and evening prayers. Yeah, oh, God, I'm going to have to stay on top of that hope. That's plummeting. Now, there is one more thing that we could do to... It, like, if hope becomes a problem, we could go up to the top of the tree. Oh, you know, I could have put in the field kitchens. Never did that. Um, I don't really need it now. I could, if hope becomes a problem, we could go with new faith. A public execution space will be built. <laughs> Some heretics will die. Some people will feel compelled to fight this law. Some of them will die. I want to avoid doing that if I possibly can. I don't want to be killing people. I, I mean, it'd be kind of cool to see the execution space, but the thing is, you can't, you can't like, I mean, could you see much anyway? Probably not. Let's keep going. I mean, things are going to get worse, so we might have to do it. Righteous destination. Tip led us some, some so stolen supplies. We're still pretty much keeping maxed out on our coal, which is awesome. How's everything? People are chilly. We've got, but we've only got like, okay, now we've got nobody who's ill. But it's coming up to night time, right? And it's night time when people start to suffer, because... Uh, yeah. So I'm just, I'm kind of wondering about putting on overdrive. You know what, should I put overdrive on during the night? You know what, I'm going to wait for, I'm going to wait for the next temperature drop. We'll survive tonight, because... Oh god, fear of a coal shortage. Sir, the output of our coal mines has fallen so low that people are terrified we'll freeze during the storm. We better do something about it. Um, you have three days to build two coal thumpers and six gathering posts. We'll make it anyway. Discontent will rise slightly. Hope will fall slightly. Oh, God. Do I really want to run around building coal thumpers? I mean, I suppose I can. Okay, we'll build, we'll build coal thumpers and six... So, two coal thumpers and six gathering posts. My God, where? <laughs> like, where am I going to build them? Um... I can knock I can knock these down, can't I? Yeah, I can actually. So okay, let's get these knocked down. Boom boom. Boom. And boom. Go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so let's build uh, a couple more coal thumpers. So if we put the coal thumpers in. Okay, so I've got the I've got the heating there. Oh, it's extended range anyway, so... Um, see, really, I want to put the coal thumpers further forward. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Let's put... Let's put one over there. Let's put one over there. We'll put... Uh, we'll put some roads around them. That and that one can just what? Is there any? Are there any buildings there? That can go down there. Are there any buildings there? Oh, there aren't, are there? So I could remove those roads. Okay, let's, let's get those roads removed. We don't need that road, or that road, or that road. Oh, I can't remove that road. There we go. Got it. So now all I need to do is put in, where are we, gathering posts. So I need six gathering posts around them. Um, I think I think that heater needs to be moved. So, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Cool. Uh, put in some... Bit of ro oh, well, we've got roads up there and up there, so actually I don't think we need any more roads. What we do need though is some heating. So let's get some heating put in. What do I want? Tech. And I want a steam hub. If I put it in there, that covers everything. Boom. In it goes. Right. Go. Build. Build for your lives. Alright. It's all getting built. Keep going, keep going, keep building. Two coal. And six. Is there, some, is there something going on somewhere? 
there is, I can't tell. Um, still can't do anything more with those. Keep going. Keep going. Should we, should we have a look outside? Oh, oh, you can't. You can't look outside now. So that's it. All we can do is focus on this. So the two coal thumpers are done. Have I got any auto? Yes, um, put an automaton in there. Put an automaton in there. Cool. Have I got any other... You know what? Um, we don't need wood or steel, do we? So I could nick the... Oh, I've already, no, I've already taken it from that one. Um, I could take the automaton from there. And that's the other... Where's the other... There's the other steel factory. I could take the automaton from there. And have them working in here. You know what? I'm actually going to put in... Where are we? Resources. I'm going to put in a, a couple more gathering posts. So let's put one there, and one there, right, go. So let's put, um, let's put an automaton in there, and one in there, and then these ones, now let's see, well, oh god, we're at minus 110. Let's turn on the heating in these buildings. Does that make it warm enough for people to work? It's 8 o'clock at night, or oh, let's find out. Let's put um, workers in these buildings. Workers. And that one. Yeah, workers. Workers. And workers. And workers. Okay, it's minus 110. The, the houses are now actually cold. We've still only got two people being treated, but it's night time, so now is the time to go with the overdrive. Coal, su coal supply secured. You built additional coal thumpers and gathering posts to make sure the coal supply is secured for the duration of the storm. People feel reassured. Hope rises. Boom. Awesome source. And we'll have to look when it gets to work time. Oh, um, oh, you know what I have? Oh, yeah, I have. I put the blooming heater in. In fact, have we got two heaters? Yeah, we've got two heaters there. Okay, didn't realise that. I don't know, this may be too cold for people to work there. I mean, it's only chilly at the moment, so I guess they can. Oh, good lord. Now, you know what? The cookhouse. Um, where's the cookhouse? There's the cookhouse. We're, that, we can take the automaton out of the cookhouse and put him into one of the... Um, one of the storage. Uh, mind you, our coal's almost full anyway, but still. Let's, let's keep going, keep going. Right, go, 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 go. The wind! I can't hear my own thoughts. Is there something going? No, it's the start of the work day. So now we'll be, oh my god, and it's just gone down to minus 20. Um, these are now cold. Okay, let's uh, let's not. Well, that one's freezing, so we definitely don't want people working there. Uh, and let's knock it down. Darkness before dawn, sir. One of our engineers has come crashing through the door. White face. Oh God, what's this? White face, demanding to see you. I've run the calculations with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread, and people are losing all hope. We have to stay strong, boys. You bet you we have to stay strong. Um, that's workers. Demolish it. That one is workers. Demolish it. So we've got three with automatons. That one we'll get rid of. And that one, yeah, we'll get rid of. So we just got the three with the automatons in. Okay. Oh my god. It's chilly, even with overdrive on. But, it, but we're now into the daytime, so I'm going to turn the overdrive off. We're going to have to survive because otherwise, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be dead before before the the, the, the <laughs> I'm falling over myself. The generator will explode before we before we've um, got, survived the storm. So we're going to have to kind of do this in bits and pieces. Right, go. So these are now very cold. High risk of people getting ill. We've got 50 people, 72 people who are now ill, 76. We can only cater for 100. 
Uh, we need... I think we're going to need more more healing places. Let's get... Where are we? Health. House of Healing. Um, where can we get... Like, Is there a place where we could put like a bunch of them in? Be kind of nice. We can certainly put... Oh, well, we can put another one over there. Oh, no, I can't. Can't quite fit it in. Okay, well, I can get one there. Okay, I can get one there. So let's have one there. We'll put one there. One there. Oh, and we can put one there as well. We're gonna need some more heaters, though. Where are we? Tech. Steam hubs. Um, let's have a steam hub. I think that one's in range. So maybe there. Yeah, I should cover those. Why, why is that? Oh, the heater's off. That's why. Ooh, check that all all the buildings that need heaters have got heaters. Uh, I need to get let them get built first. Oh, go, go, build, boys, build, build for your lives. We got 71 people sick. It's just coming up to eight o'clock at night, so now is the time to turn the generator overdrive back on. Go. Now we're just chilly. Let's get these hospitals turned on. And let's get some people working there. Workers. Workers. And get out of the way. And workers. And workers. What I was going to say, one thing that I haven't been doing is I haven't been checking all the names of these, uh, these automatons. The Superior Icelander. What's this one called? The White Britain. The Green Lowlander. The Lone Hampshireman. They're good cool names. The Bronze Scot. There's one over here as well. What are you? The King. Oh, that's our original one. The King's Icelander. The Silver Scot. The Azure Norfolkman. The Silver Norseman. Oh, I just switched that off. Um, although, actually, I don't need that on, do I? That could be turned off. Anything else that could be turned off? Right, what's our, what's our consumption now? Oh man, we're still producing more coal than we're using. Even with everything maxed out. Right, keep going. Minus 120. Oh, is that, is that when we've got a last till? I don't know, I guess. A tip from a believer, so we get a bit more supplies. Um, we are nine o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna have to turn the overdrive. Well, I could turn the overdrive off for a bit. Just let it cool down a bit. And then, hopefully all we've gotta do is get through tonight. Boom. Um, what's going on? Miracles happen. Sir, it's a miracle. The man, oh my God, the man who went looking for his daughter. Do you remember that? The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but then they got lost and had to wait for a lull in the blizzard to find their way back. God, they're lucky to be alive. They're both exhausted and frostbitten, but very happy. I'm glad to hear that. I am very glad to hear that. How are we doing for sick people? We're up to 82 sick people. But to be honest, being sick is about the best thing to be at the moment because you get put into a nice warm building. Um, can we get any more built? Where, where are we? Health. House of Healing. Yeah. We could put one... Could put one there. Oh, if I take out that road, I could probably squeeze in another one. Let's do it. Where are we? Rose. Dismantle. That road there. Get a... Where are we? House of Healing. Yes. Just. Just fits. Let's get another... Road going up there. Around there, a road going up there, and a road going up the side of there, and one one around there as well. Why not? Why not? Give the people something to do in a mi 100, minus 120 degrees. Oh, yo, yo. I wouldn't want to go out there. Okay, so those are built. Oh, I need to put some heating in, darling. Yeah, almost forgot. I need to put in a steam hub. Let's put in a steam hub there. Go. Ooh, it's brutally cold. Uh, but it's coming up to 8 o'clock at night right now. We can put the heating back on. 
we're up to... We've only got 68 sick people though, so we're not doing too badly. Overdrive. Okay, now it's just chilly. We'll have the, the heating on during the night. Okay, we've got two more hospitals that we can crank up. Let's get workers in there. Workers at the... Are you listening to the music? The music is awesome. How long have we got to survive? I think we're almost there, you know. I, I think we're almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, what's this? Work ceases. Sir, most of our people have abandoned their workplaces to stay home with their families. I don't, I don't blame them. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever the end will bring. We have to stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. Oh my god. It's now minus 150 degrees. So, even with, even with the overdrive on, it's freezing. Oh my lord, we've got 64 people in hospital. Go. We've just got to survive through till the morning though, I think. It's five o'clock in the morning. Oh, well, let's enjoy the, the, the last bit of it. So, we're still okay. We've got plenty left on the stress meter. So we can, we can definitely keep going with the overdrive on. Minus 150 degrees. The storm ends. The wind dies down and the temperature finally starts to rise. An eerie silence descends on the city. And the temperature starts to drop rapidly. We did it. We survived the final blow. We will live. It's over. I cannot believe it's finally over. We made it. We did make it. Look at this. Um, I tell you what, that's a fairly big city. We have survived. And we survived with over 400 people. We only had one death. The whole run. And that was a murder of a, uh, of a priest during a riot. This is the city building and build. 80 so we started off 80 souls lacking guidance. First, we decided to tighten our belts. Look, isn't it cool how it shows you how your city was built? Thin soup became our main meal. I'm assuming this is, t this is definitely tailored to the events and the path that you chose during the game. And it was getting harder. It was. Yes, I know there's a joke there. Let's move on. So we adapted. So what happened then? Oh, look, there's, see, there's a fighting pit going in. Violent, violent public penis, denouncing people, vigilant faith keepers, yet I fear we have gone too far. I thought I was fairly nice during I mean, the only thing I really did was murder some children. Faith was abused. Was this city worth it? I wonder. Well, I'd freaking say it was. 1887, New London. For, we saved over 400 people. 402 souls. Minus 30 degrees C. Well, there you go, guys. That is Frostpunk. And that is the, the first of three scenarios that are available when the game is actually released. And, of course, like I said at the beginning, this is only on, on medium difficulty. So, hard mode. I'm going to be watching that like those likes. So if you haven't hit the like button yet, if you've enjoyed this series and you want to see me play through again on hard, hit that like button. Guys, thank you so much for following me on this journey. An awesome, awesome journey through Frostpunk. I have enjoyed this game so much. I cannot wait to play it again. So um, guys, I will say thank you. Thank you for sticking with it. I will catch you for whatever the next thing is. Take care. Peace out.